infield content to GT. Um, for me, my first thing that I always do as far as making changes is the gearing. There's some tracks where I can run a tall gearing and there's some tracks that I have to run a shorter gearing just to get either more mile an hour or more drive out the corners. But then also, this is my second race weekend on the Owens Internals, um, the last two rounds at Road America in the Ridge, I had stock suspension, so I couldn't make any front suspension adjustments at all. So I was really relying on the rear, but a lot of them is the front suspension and the rear suspension. And luckily we have Megan with Olin that are able to make that adjustment for us. I leave that up to Megan. What I'll do is I have a track map and I'll break down every, I'll break down the track in segments and me and her will both discuss it turn by turn and she'll understand what I'm saying based off what the bike is doing and then she'll make the adjustments for me. And at the last round, um, I have the suspension in and she's like, it's either gonna work for you or it may not work for you and it worked very well, so I was very happy with that. So I have a front sprocket and I have a rear sprocket and for me, what I'll do is the stock gearing on these bikes is a 1538. Um, so I either drop one tooth in the front or vice versa in the rear and even it out and then I do a practice of qualifying session and based off what it gives me there, I'll uh, make my adjustments moving on. Yeah, I get pretty close to it. These things, like, they only have the highest is like 8,000 RPM, but I try to shift like before that because if you live on a rev limiter, it kills all your drive, all your momentum. So you really have to make sure that like you're shifting at the right point to get the right horsepower. These motorcycles, they are very torquey. For me, there's some corners that I have to like be in second or third gear just to feel more torque out of the corners and so I can feel the push that I'm getting. There's some corners if I'm like in third gear, it's not really there like that. The torque isn't much there, but in second gear for me, it's like right where I need it to be. This weekend, going to practice one, I was here at my Ninja 400 two weeks ago with a track day that I, ride, that I ride with, and now that I'm in this weekend, it's like practice, just look at the track, figure out the track, being on this bike, because Ninja 400 and this bike are like two different things. Um, like I said, this is more torquier. Once I get the hang of it, like, I don't know, second, third lap, I should start being able to feel it like, okay, the bike is doing this, and then from there, put my head down and see where I can get my time down to. Now, naturally, come race time, you'll be faster. But just to get a point, and then with this, I take the data from it, and I'll look at where I'm breaking at, where I need to be on the gas, and stuff like that.